Hi, this is Mandy with the Alva Public Library, and today I will be reviewing Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? Um, what made me read this book is um, the Blade Runner movies. Um, they were based on this story, and so I was curious. I liked the movies. So I was like, huh, let's read the book and see what it's like. Though, when they describe it in the commentary of Blade Runner, they're all like, short story, short story. This is not a short story. This is a 210-page book. It's a book. Actually, it's 240, 45. Anyway, a short story is like 120 or less pages. So, it's a book. Anyway, it's by um, Philip K. Dick. He did a lot of... Um, he was a sci-fi writer. He also wrote Minority Report, I believe, and quite a few other um, famous sci-fi stories. But anyway, this one. <sighs> oh my goodness, this is... It hurt my brain. Not that it's complicated or anything, but it really looks into the human mind, and or it just twisted it up. Um, one of the main themes is... Um, what's with the electric sheep? In this society, everybody owns an animal. It's a sign of prestige. Like all the, or almost all the animals are going extinct. And so if you own a real life animal, you are like la -dee da high up there in the social scale. Like, and so our main character, Rick, he owns an electric sheep, which looks like a real sheep but and acts like a real sheep but it's really an android or a, a mechanical sheep so he's just pretending like he has this thing and they even have like a little manual that shows you how many animals of the species are left and their prices and so they're always pulling that book out and like how much is that how much is that they're always on a lookout for the next best animal and it sounds so stupid like why are you so obsessed with that but then you're like wait no we're kind of like that like we're obsessed with cars and tv series and movies and just something we become that obsessed with some status symbol and him making it look so ridiculous because it is ridiculous and just showing how earnestly these people want to have these special animals and it was just painful looking in a mirror. That's what this is. Looking in a mirror and you don't like what you see. Um, another thing about this book. It, the story is pretty good. It's about Rick um, who puts down androids. And there's um, a rogue group. And he has to hunt them down and kill them all. And figure out who's real and who who's a real human and who's an android. I think they nickname him Andes. And so the story is good. It just was kind of painful. Oh, and in Blade Runner, you usually kind of sympathize with the androids. I did not. I really, in this book, I disliked them very much. They did some very mean things and no sympathy there. And so, yeah, it, it's interesting. If you want to try it out, go for it. But for me, it was difficult. So anyway, this was the review for Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep by Philip K. Dick. So those are just my thoughts. Have a great day.